So you have been using the CapCut video editor and you have decided that it is time that you start taking your editing more seriously and take it from, you know, intermediate to actual pro. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you five amazing CapCut tricks and tips that you can implement in your own videos as well. So they will start having this more of a professional feel and look to it. Now you want to stick around because again, these tips are going to help you massively. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the first one. So this first trick in CapCut is going to be the face tracking and in general tracking feature. Now, this is something that I think is super cool because uh, it's way diff more difficult to do this in other softwares. So what you want to do is you want to select your clip and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and come all the way down here to camera tracking. I'm going to uh, click this and then you can select face, body or hand tracking, okay? And this is especially good, for example, for clips when somebody is up on a stage, maybe talking and the camera is kind of, uh, you know, not following them along. Well, using this feature, you're going to be able to make the whole video look a lot more dynamic by kind of creating this, you know, uh, camera follow look uh, within the software. So I'm just going to select my face and then I'm going to click here on start tracking. And then as you can see, now it's processing this uh, entire clip literally and you can see that now it looks a little bit weird because we are uh, seeing so to say on the side of the of the video as well so what you want to do to uh, make sure that it doesn't look like this is you want to click here fit to canvas and it's going to zoom in quite a bit but that's fine um, and um, you can also click the lock object size if you want to do that um, you can also adjust this uh, shake thingy here but now if I watch this back you can see it's uh, literally tracking my face across the entire video, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So yeah, here's how you can create this face tracking effect. Now, another way that I like to use tracking a lot is to actually track a text or an image to something on the video. So let me show you an example of this. So I'm just going to come here to text and actually create a new text layer here. Um, so I'm just going to you know, customize this a little bit. Let's make it uh, like this. Okay, so now we have our text right here, as you can see, and I want to put this actually on my palm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, select my text layer. I'm going to come here now to tracking on the top, and then you want to click on motion track, okay? And then here you can do, have a couple different options. Uh, first one is whether you want to, you know, just track it um, forward from your clip or backward. I'm going to select both. Uh, here with this uh, yellow box, you are actually able to select what you want to track. So I'm going to uh, put my palm within this yellow um, or yeah, yellow kind of box. And then it's going to be actually, you know, uh, tracking my hand. But if I put it on my face, it would, you know, track my face. Whatever you want to put inside that box is what's going to get tracked. And then you can choose whether you want to the scale to be adjusted as well. So for example, if my hand got closer to the camera, it would make the, the scale of the text um, layer in this case, or otherwise the image as well bigger. Um, and you can also, you know, track the distance. Um, so yeah, okay, I'm just going to keep both of those ticked right now. And then I'm going to click here on start. As you can see, it's tracking uh, my movements at the moment. And this is the final result that we got. So as you can see, it's actually following my hand movements fully accurately and all it took was literally a few clicks to create this effect. So if you thought that this was pretty cool, let's move on to the next one and get ready to get your minds blown. So the second feature that we are going to go into is the cutout feature. So I'm sure we have seen movies where they use green screen in the background to put something else there which isn't actually there, right? Well, in CapCut, you can actually create uh, this almost like green screen cutout effect without actually needing to use a green screen. So all you need to do is have a clip where you have a person in there and then you want to come here uh, to cut out and then here you want to go all the way here and then click on auto cutout. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on. As you can see now, it's analyzing my entire clip. And now if I play this back, you can see that the entire background is cut out and it's only me in the video. So if I were going to put something else in the background, which I'm going to do right now, just like this, so I'm just going to change up the layer order and make this on top, then you can see uh, it looks like I had a green screen behind me. So if I play this back now, you can see I'm pretty perfectly cut out from the background. 
um, and uh, yeah I just created this really weird weather report kind of uh, thing so as you can see this was also super quick to create and uh, it creates a very professional look you can use it for so many different things like you know obviously I could put different backgrounds behind me but I could also put text behind me I could also put uh, different images layers whatever it is so if you're making talking cat videos this can be an amazing feature to spice them up Next up, we have voice isolation. This is a feature that kind of blew my mind also when I first uh, seen this. So with this, what you can basically do is just have any sort of song or you could even use it on your own voice, right? And you can basically isolate the vocals. Um, or if you're using it on a song, you could also use it to do the reverse of it and create kind of like a karaoke or just an instrumental version of any song. Here, I have a song from Epidemic Sound and I'm just going to play it for you so you hear how it sounds. All right, so it's a pretty cool rap song as you can hear. So I'm going to select this now and then I'm going to come here to voice isolation. So I'm going to turn this on and as you can see now it's analyzing the entire uh, song as usual and then we are going to be able to make the adjustments to it. So let's see what we can do with this song. So this is what we got now. What we have selected in the voice isolation effect is to keep the vocals only. So here's how it sounds. Let's see how you do on the pressure. Oh. Yeah, I've been wanting this shit forever. I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me. Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on a little better. So this is pretty crazy if you ask me. I mean, we just completely got rid of all the instrumentals and sure the you know voice isn't fully clear, but it also had some auto tune in it in the first place as well. But I think it's very impressive uh, what we could do with just under a minute and just a click of a button. We can also click on remove vocal and then we will create kind of the opposite of this where we will just have the instrumental and none of the vocals. So uh, let's see how this sounds now. Can you believe this? Like we just got a fully clear and usable instrumental version of this song with the single click of a button. Now tell me what is this if it's not insane what you can actually do with basically a free software in 2024. Okay, I get it. Right now you might be wondering, Vince, this voice isolation effect was absolutely amazing. Where can I get songs like this one, which I can actually use in my own YouTube videos and social media projects as well without getting it taken down because of copyright? Well, I got you because this video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound and Epidemic Sound is a service which I've been using for over five years at this point for basically all my personal projects and also my client projects. And they're a subscription based service which you can use for all your song and sound effect needs for whatever you are creating. You just pay a small monthly subscription fee and and you get unlimited downloads and access to their insanely big library of songs and sound effects. They are all super high quality and well produced. So if you want to try out Epidemic Sound for yourself, then you can click the first link in the description below and you are going to be able to try it out for yourself, see if you like it and then go from there. So the fourth feature of which we are going to talk about is chroma keying. So here's how you can use this. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to have some sort of a green screen uh, video, right? You can find the all over YouTube uh, so I have this one for example now which is basically just a green screen explosion so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, put this on the second layer and then I'm going to put this layer uh, of the cutout of me on the third one and so it's basically between a video of uh, you know me just a regular one and the cutout of me and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on this I'm going to come back here to cut out and then click here on chroma key. And then what you want to do is after that, you want to click here on this little uh, icon and click on the color picker. And then I'm going to click on the um, green, okay? And as you can see now, if we bring up the strength of this and we give some shadow on this maybe, then we actually have a uh, full on like uh, green screen explosion happening in the background. Obviously we can make this bigger as well if we want. And boom, just like that, we were able to add an explosion into the background. So if you are wondering how to actually use green screen videos, this is how you use it. You just go to the chroma key, you just select the color and then boom, basically you're done. All right, and last but not least, a technique that you definitely need to learn if you want to become a really good editor is keyframing. So 
when it comes to keyframing, it is something that you can use on pretty much all sort of different effects. Uh, and uh, yeah, it is a pretty, pretty important part of editing. So let me show you uh, how it works on a very simple, um, you know, example. So here I have this clip right uh, of me. I'm going to get rid of the tags now. And uh, what you want to do is you want to come here to whatever uh, kind of property of the clip you are trying to adjust. So for example, I'm going to adjust the scale of this. And then you want to click here on the add keyframe button right now, which is going to create a point uh, in the clip. And then we are going to go further ahead in time. For example, here, I'm going to, you know, change the, um, amount of scale and as you can see it created a keyframe here as well and basically now the change uh, of that you know property of the clip between the two uh, points is going to be animated so if i play this back right now you can see it's actually zooming into my clip and the cool thing is that you can not only use this with the zoom but again almost all sort of different effects so if i wanted to animate the rotation of this clip i could just click on uh you know my clip wherever i want the rotation to start for example here i'm going to go ahead and uh, add a keyframe here i could go where i want the, uh, the animation to end for example here i'm going to you know change the rotation so let's just make it uh, whatever like a full 360 turn actually and as you can see now if I play this back boom There is a full rotation happening and it's animated So I think again, this is something you definitely need to learn if you want to become an amazing editor Because this is something that you can use with all sort of different effects all sort of different uh, parts of your video and uh, again, it's just super important. So let me show you another example of using it for the opacity for example so if I wanted to fade from you know dark to bright well i can just come here to the beginning of my clip i can put the opacity to zero click on the add keyframe i can move forward in time where i want it to be back at full opacity i can just raise it right it's added the new keyframe and now if i play this back you can see it goes from dark to bright again and uh, it is animated so these are five tricks and tips that you want to learn how to use in CapCut if you want to become a better editor this year. So I hope you enjoy this. If you want to see more content like this, and if you want to master video editing and social media, go ahead and check out video editors that I hope my private community in the description below. Hope you enjoy this and I will see you in the next one.